What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up two more of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Prophecy Destroyer tins for you guys. Yeah, these are actually some older Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. We don't really see these nearly as much as we see Mega tins and stuff anymore, and even Mega tins have become kind of an older thing. Like, I was looking back at some of, like, the, the first Mega tins we ever got, and those things were even getting way tougher to find and a little pricey. But I thought it'd be fun to open up both of these because, again, I got, like, a ton of these when they were really cheap, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I like the, the packs that are in these. I mean, it's some older packs where you're not guaranteed a hollow. You actually have rares. You have chances for ultimate rares and even ghost rares. And I miss that part of Yu-Gi-Oh! But, of course, too, around the time that COVID happened and all that, we remember that a lot of the older Yu-Gi-Oh! products got really tough to find. Like, <laughs> yeah, as it did with, like, Pokemon. And Yu-Gi-Oh! was kind of part of that, too. So... Let's go on ahead, open these up, and see what we can get. But real quick, too, we do have a sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lythus. And of course, if you guys want to check out this game for yourself, be sure to click down in the description. I'll have a link as well as in a pinned comment. And uh, we also have a QR code up top, too, so you can scan that or click on the link and uh, download this game. It's free on iOS and Android. Yeah, this game is awesome. It is a fantasy RPG game. The really cool part about this game is, well, <laughs> summed up in one word, I feel like. Waifus. Yes, you guys know, of course, if we're Yu-Gi-Oh players, we know what a waifu is. And basically, in this game, one of the cool features is that you're able to get with these waifus and then create your own hybrid characters. And from that, I mean, there are several different races in the games, like uh, elves, orcs, dwarves, lichens, dragonborn, vampires, demigods, and demons. And from that, you can create your own hybrids. Maybe you want to combine uh, dwarves and lichens, or vampires and demons, or whatever you want to do, and create some really powerful heirs for you. And not only that, too, these heirs will be stronger depending on the intimacy between these waifus. So there you go. If you actually build up a real connection, you're going to get a really powerful character from it. One that can, of course, help defend your kingdom, that can conquer different things in the story. You also have, of course, the Guild War Valley of Conquerors in this, too. So that gives you a variety of different things to do in this game, and it looks amazing. Now it's like the best time to join as well, because the Lycan Clan has been added, and that means too we also have the brand new character, which is uh, Goldtongue, this Christmas, and you're going to be able to get him on, uh, let's see, December 22nd, actually. So he's coming up, he's right before Christmas, and the uh, Lycan Clan is supposed to be very powerful and brutal, so I'm sure you're going to want to add him to your team. This game is free on iOS and Android, and if you click on my link down in the description, or of course you can scan the QR code that's on the screen somewhere, and then from that you get a $20 starter pack, which includes things like potions, 100,000 in gold, 100 diamonds, and just everything you need to really start off your game. So check it out. Links down in the description, like I said, and of course QR code, and it is an awesome game. So thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So yeah, that's today's sponsor. Be sure to check them out. Link down in the description, and uh, let's get to it because again, these are older tins, and I want to get something awesome from them. Hope and have some good luck. Especially, like I said, if you can get Ultra Rares and Ghost Rares, that's the goal, right? <laughs> so yeah, be sure to hit that like button too on this video, leave a comment, help me with the algorithm, because again, I still feel like there's something really weird going on, but uh, yeah, maybe that'll help out, so please do so, I I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, here's a little advertisement you might want to see with like Yugi's World, which man, I wish I could find a bunch of those, Cosmo Blazer, and yeah, even talking about the YCS and everything, so... Kind of cool to see. World Championship 2013. So that says how old this tin is. Does it say on the back too? Uh, yeah, 2012, by the way, this tin came out. I didn't even show that. So huh, that's 10 years. <sighs> I'm getting old. <laughs> like, Zexel, a tin from Zexel being 10 years old. That hurts. Does that not bother anyone else? Any of you guys out there, especially that I've played since the beginning? We're old. <laughs> So yeah, you get a promo pack, we'll go over that here in just a second, and then you get your booster packs, which you have uh, two of Galactic Overload, or Overlord, excuse me, I used to do that back in the day, actually, Overload, Overlord, so <laughs> there you go, Photon Shockwave, and then two of Order of Chaos, so let's see, also the packs kind of look different, yeah, there's more of a gold to that one, I wonder why that is, that's weird, maybe that's a sign, we're gonna get something good, I have no idea, anyway, Let's open up this promo pack. Promo packs are always the same, obviously, too. It just usually had some good reprints, which I kind of miss that, honestly. We don't even see promo packs from Megatons anymore, or at least the last couple. Let's see. We have uh, Prophecy Destroyer, then Endless Decay, 
Steel Storm Roach, which was a pretty big reprint then. Photon Strike Bouncer, again, a pretty big reprint. And then Infernity Barrier, which, again, I remember that being like $100 back in the day. So, it hadn't been near that in a while, but still, Infernities were pretty powerful. It's a shame that we hadn't really seen them come back. It's one of those archetypes that did so well for a little bit, and you've never really seen support to help them come back to be relevant. So, let's go with our Galactic Overlord. This is the one that has, like, more of a gold look to it, so... See if that actually means something, right? Let's see. Heretic Dragons, Bright Star Dragon, Wacky Magic. <laughs> we have Dimension Slice, and doesn't look like anything from that one. No hollows. Again, you're not guaranteed hollows, so that's something where I kind of like that in some ways, because hollows then mean more, but you can open up a whole tin and not get a hollow, so <laughs> we'll see how that works. All right, here's the other one that had more of a silver look to the name. I'll see if this other tin is the same way. So weird. I don't think I've noticed that before. Commander of Swords, Whitetail Dragon, Xe Wrath, Overlay Owl, and okay, I couldn't remember. Is it rare than Hollow? We'll see what happens. Anyway, we have a Photon uh, Papiloperative, Papilla Operative, something like that. It's a weird word to say. Then, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, there's a super rare for us. We have Heretic uh, Dragon King of Atom, which. There for a while, this was a pretty pricey card, actually, from this set. I remember when it was, I think, around, like, the $20 mark. Again, not so much now. I don't think so, anyway. I could be wrong, but, I mean, I don't check every card price, but uh, that is a good one. Either way, a really good card from the set. And, yeah, some of the others, too. So, at least we got a hollow. We're, we know it's not going to be all rares, you know? That makes me feel better. <laughs> Photon Shockwave. Okay. One of my favorite sets. We'll see if we get a Galaxy Eyes. I would like that. Rabbit Dragon. Cross Attack. Level Lance Lord. I think that one's kind of cool. We have Wind Up Knight, and I think there might be something. Oh, there you go. Light Serpent. Well, I haven't seen this card in a while. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting one. It was part of kind of... It's like it's part of Photons in a way, but it's not. I think Kaito used it. So, yeah, it's an older super rare. That's still pretty cool to see. I mean, I'll take it. Especially over No Hollow, you know? <laughs> Dual Slasher and stuff, too. Okay. And now Order of Chaos. We have two of these. Pretty good set. I always remember it's Special Edition because they gave us a reprint of Effect Veiler, which was like the first reprint of it and made it much cheaper because I remember what Effect Veilers were like 40 bucks each. <laughs> so, let's see. Color Koala. Photon Circle. What else he got? I'm hoping for Galaxy Photons, basically. Well, we have Insector Dragonfly, which is a good rare from the set. And, ah, oh, for some reason I thought I had something, because there's kind of like a little bit of a mess up on the edge, so, I don't know, I was hoping that was a sign. There you go. It's kind of funny that some of the better cards for Insectors were actually rares. I don't know if that would happen nowadays, I feel like Dragonfly would be a secret rare, or at least an Ultra now. <laughs> Alright, what we get for this last pack? I, I should have said it before I open it, but, can we end with the Hollow? Let's see. I mean, it's not in the video, but in the, the tin, so, you know. I, I want to try it anyway. <laughs> Works all the time, you know? Double Defender, Zector Centipede, Tridents. We have Shrine of the Mist Valley, and... Ah, the one time ending with a hollow didn't work. I know, right, guys? <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, not on that one. But we at least got two hollows, so that's kind of decent for back fam. <laughs> Again, I mean, it's... There's been plenty I think I've opened up on the channel where we just got rares, so anything's better than that. And now, the other one. What do we got? Same stuff, obviously. Promo pack is exactly the same. I'm going to keep this one sealed, so yeah. Let's see if the packs are different on this one, too. Mm, they look the same on this one, or at least... The other ones looked weird to me, so we'll see if that actually matters. I, I don't know, they look the same color. But yeah, everything's supposed to be the same. It's just, again, that Galactic Overlord packs, they did look different. I do remember there used to be some weird errors like that, that people knew of, and it was like, kind of tell you if there was a, a hollow or not. I remember seeing those kind of videos back in the day, but hadn't seen any of that kind of stuff these days, you know? So, we'll see. Doom Donuts, oh, I remember that one. <laughs> I like it. Light Ray Griffer, and... Oh, dude, we got a secret air! Well, there we go! 
<laughs> I'll take that. The, the luckiest seeker air. Number seven, lucky straight. Dang, that is awesome. I remember when this one and number 11, uh, you know, which is also in the set of secret air, um, those were like, I, I remember a lot of people wanted to get number seven and me included more than that one. And of course, we all know how number 11 is like one of the most popular <laughs> numbers now. And I remember when that jumped up to being around $100 back in the day before it had so many reprints now. Either way, though, I've always liked this card. It is more luck based and obviously not as competitive as number 11, but... It's design and everything. It's just always become one of my favorite number monsters. I, you know, I, I don't know why. I just love this card. And I remember it being so funny whenever some of these Xyz first came out. People were like, no one's going to be able to bring out level 7s that easy and bring these out. And <laughs> Dragon Rulers happened. And a lot of things have happened since then. So, <laughs> yeah. Just, it, it's so funny to watch some of those older videos and be like, oh, we'll never be able to bring out rank 10s and stuff and trains laugh in our faces. And, you know, <laughs> the game has changed so much. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad though to get that secret. Again, that's one of my favorite number monsters for sure. Not the most competitive, but I do remember sometimes when he was used in competitive deck lists and it, it was kind of one of those, like, really random cards. So... I liked it. Evil Tiles. I might see something for them. We have Evil Price and nothing on that one. Okay. But we got a secret air, so I'm happy. Out of an older pack, that's a good day. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you change it, that's, that's a good day. Photon Shockwave. I mean, heck, even in the newer sets now, I get a secret I'm happy. So. But back then, it wasn't even as easy as it is now. It was one per box back then. We have Needle Sunfish, kind of cool, and Exceed Territory, anything else? Nah, one of the Natrias though, I mean, we kind of got new Natrias pretty recently. That's still funny to me, that, and they're actually doing pretty well, from what I've heard. And now Order of Chaos, we got two of these, so let me get at least one more hollow. I know, I'm being a little greedy, but, you know, <laughs> why not be a little greedy, you know? We all want to get the best cards we can. Photon Crusher. We have Reverse Buster, and... Ah, nothing on that one. Okay. But, you know what that means, and it really counts this time. Can we end with a Hollow? Let's see. Because <laughs> this actually is the last pack. That's why it didn't work the first time, okay? So, that, that's just our, our theory, our game theory. You know, I hadn't seen a game theory video in a, quite a while. <laughs> Not that I actually... Said something about that meme. I can need to go watch some of their videos. Anyway, what do we got? Wind up Honeybee. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We have ZW Unicorn Spear and... Ah! No hollow to end off on it because I hadn't watched Game Theory. That's the reason. <laughs> that's the reason right there. But again, I got a secret rare from the 10. I'm honestly pretty happy, especially getting one of my old favorites and stuff too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Just something a little random, really. And I mean, if I can have an excuse to open up some older tins or packs or whatever, I'm going for it. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there and all that too. Like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate all that. Again, the algorithm's been really weird for me. Some things have done really well. Some haven't. I, I don't know. YouTube either hates me or I'm just an awful YouTuber. It's got to be one of those. <laughs> and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.